Hey there! Hello! We are live. I'm so excited. This video is going to be about the end of year blues and wow. You guys have been um, chatting me up on Instagram. If you are not following me on Instagram, let's be friends there at Simply Jen Rodriguez. And I've been talking to a couple of women on a chat in my DMs and even on client calls recently about the end of year blues. And I'm just like, yes, I totally forgot about that, guys. So I want to share with you what the end of year blues is, what's going on energetically and what you can do about it. OK, so get ready to get a notebook out because you're going to take some notes because you're going to make some aha moments every single time that I speak, people come and like just get the most amazing insights and healing. So yes, go get a notebook. I'll wait. Okay, good. <laughs> if you don't know me already, I am Jen Rodriguez. I'm an in intuitive and spiritual development teacher. And I help you awaken, expand, and integrate your intuitive abilities so that you can connect to the magic of the universe. Yay! And without sounding like a crazy hippie, but it's totally okay if you are a crazy hippie because we're all a little weird here. Hi, Norma. Hi, welcome. Come on in. So I haven't been live on Facebook for a little while because I've been on Instagram, you guys, and that has been my jam. But today I thought I'd give you my Facebook peeps some love, which then I'll post this video on Instagram and they'll get the, the, um, the play on that. Yes, I'm a crazy hippie. Yes! <laughs> and I think that's the thing that um, when you start stepping into your intuitive abilities, your spiritual journey, you kind of like go back and forth into like you don't want to sound like a crazy person because now you are awakening and you are into manifesting and when maybe like your family members are not. So you don't want to sound like a crazy person, but it's totally normal <laughs> to feel all those feelings. Okay. So let me talk to you about the end of year blues, what to do about it. And um, I have my notes here. Let me just grab them really quick. Okay, here we go. Okay, the end of year blues and what to do about them. So the end of year blues is a very common thing. And energetically, everybody's asking me like, okay, what does this mean? What's happening to me? And mostly because they're feeling feelings of sadness, depression, like feeling like I don't want to do anything. I don't want to connect with anybody. I just want to be by myself. But then you're also feeling lonely at the same time and you have people around you and you're feeling angry and you're just like, what is happening to me? And so you're everybody like, I had this person um, tag me on a chat and be like, Jen, you seem to be high vibe all the time. What is it that I'm missing out on? What do we need to do? How can I learn about this? So I'm going to answer your questions right now about it. So I always encourage you to be a self healer. Everything I do, the spiritual development um, is for you to get the tools you need to become a self healer. And I believe that when I help people heal, we raise the consciousness of the world. So that's always my, my go to's, my trainings for that. End of year blues means right now, if you are on this side of the world, the uh, part where it's winter, essentially, then Mother Earth is going through a small death, a hibernation. It's three months of fall and three months of winter. Now we're on the winter part. So we even feel it more of those feelings of sadness, depression, and just like, where am I in my life right now? So you might get pulled a little bit from that. But it's Mother Earth really just going through this energy of rebirth, in a sense. Um, and so we're energetic beings and we're picking up on that because we are always tapping into our intuitive self, whether we realize it or not. So we're picking up on that energy. And back in the day, way back in the day before electricity even was a thing, people would do celebrations to get themselves out of a funk because it was the part of the world where it was just the darkest at night, it was cold, it was snowing, or it was raining, and it was just kind of bleak and gloomy. And people were like, let's throw some celebrations and let's put things together and make us feel happy. And thus started a lot of um, parties and now we have like Christmas and we have Kwanzaa and we have um, all amazing holidays and we have New Year's. So we have all these celebrations now and now we have electricity. So now we can just literally turn the light on and be like, yay, we're cozy. But we still feel that energetic feeling of 
low, lethargic, and like, where am I with my life? Like, I am feeling lost. So you're not lost. I encourage you to really take a look at what's coming up for you. So it may be the triggers of family. It may be the triggers of the holidays. Um, maybe you're stuck in comparison mode, and this is huge. If you're stuck in comparison mode, feeling like you're just having achieved everything you wanted this year, I want you to remember that it is a journey. So maybe you set some goals, and maybe you didn't accomplish them, and that's okay. Be gentle with yourself throughout this time of year that's the number one thing i'm going to encourage you to do be gentle with yourself at this time of year and just allow those feelings to come up i see them and maybe even write them on paper there's such a powerful thing to do if you have a notebook or a journal that you keep write them out and bring them all to the surface and just be an observer like the observer of your feelings and emotions that are coming up and you'll begin to notice that okay I don't know why I'm feeling like this, but this is coming up. And just take a look. Is am, is this feeling because of the holidays? Is this feeling because of my family? Is this feeling because I'm not where I want to be? And here's the answer to that question, by the way, you guys. We're never where we want to be. <laughs> like, ever. But we're getting there, right? And so that's part of remembering that this is a journey. So are these feelings mine? Is it because it's winter? Do I even like winter? Maybe you don't like winter and just acknowledge that about yourself. So important thing for me to help you is always look into yourself. Who are you? What you like? What you think? What you don't like? So that you can get to know yourself better more and more and more every single time, every single year. That's part of your personal development journey. That's part of your spiritual journey to get to know yourself better, more like be your best friend. <laughs> that's going to be like the best thing be your best friend um so important things here to celebrate yourself i want you to do a 2019 uh journey reflection of what did you learn this year i've talked to a lot of people uh clients recently who have not had the best year at all they have gone through a lot of struggles a lot of um health a lot of mental challenges and they have been like this has not been my year at all like the last six months of 2019 have been just the worst and I totally can relate to that as well like the last six months have been just a push on developing your strengths developing your character testing you in a way but nobody's testing you it's really just yourself testing yourself the universe doesn't test you you guys god creator source divine energy does not test you you guys we only test ourselves and we like compare ourselves to how good or or, or bad we are and that's where i get on another tangent about um where your anxiety comes from and just feeling like really bad about yourself so get back to doing a 2019 reflection of your year what did you learn and what challenges did you overcome what did you gain about those things did you learn that you were more resilient did you learn that you were stronger did you learn that you were a, a better person because you went through this maybe you made some mistakes and it's okay i want you to be radically responsible about everything and anything that is happening right now even if you don't like it because for some reason you are feeling it right now you are experiencing it and you are going through it and there's always a lesson in it you may not see it now but there's always a lesson from it number one question what can i learn from this how can this benefit me um how has this made me a stronger person so doing a 2019 journey reflection is going to be the most important thing for you to do um next delegate things out right now especially if you have a business or you're in a career or even in your home delegate things right now so that means like if you feel you need help and support ask people around you ask your friends ask your loved ones to help you out maybe you're used to doing all the chores maybe your mom your, your super mom doing everything around the house ask for help in this time to your family your friends to help you out with something if you are an entrepreneur and you have a business and you know that you're going into 2020 leading your community leading people and you're just like oh my god okay i need i need to like get myself right first before i do that yes get yourself right first take a day out where you do nothing nothing <laughs> 
<laughs> like nothing. Binge watch Netflix and let that be okay. Now, um, just because you feel X, Y, Z, just because you feel, uh, you know, these feelings of sadness, depression, like the holiday blues are getting to you, does not mean that the universe isn't working its magic to give you everything that you want and desire for 2020, okay? <laughs> so one thing I always say is if you are 80% feeling happy, feeling good about yourself, feeling good about your life and where you are at, then you are always tapping in to your desires with the universe. And I say 80% because we're human beings, <laughs> we're not robots, and that gives you that other percentage to be blah. <laughs> okay. Um, so the end of your blues, <clears throat> they don't have to overwhelm you. They don't have to um, just know that this is this period of time where there is fall and there is winter. The earth is shifting. The earth is going through its small death, small hibernation. And you're picking up on that. You're also picking up on the collective energy of people around you. That maybe they don't know about these things because they're not on a spiritual journey yet. And that's okay. But you know about it. So you being aware of it can help you put energetic boundaries. And be gentle with yourself about these feelings that you are having. Know that they're not your own. And if they are... Just allow yourself to process them and give yourself some time. Be gentle with yourself. Allow yourself to have a 2019 reflection, right, of your year. What challenges have you had? What have you overcome? What have you learned about them? How have they made you stronger? And remember that just because you are feeling this way does not mean that the universe isn't helping you get everything that you want and desire for 2020. Yes? Okay, my friends, I leave you with that. Let me know if you have any other questions regarding the end of year blues that I can answer for you. Leave them in the comments below. And if you are in need of a healing, you can always book a session. I still have single sessions available in my website. And I'll um, link it up there at simplygenrodriguez.com. Um, anything else, you can always find me on Instagram because that's where I'm playing at all the time at simply Jen Rodriguez. Follow me there because that's where the conversations continue all the time. And I leave you with that. I hope you found this very beneficial, very useful. And like always go be amazing. Bye.